but it's a guilty pleasure. Oh, hello there. We have really got to stop meeting like this, you and I. So you're gonna come for a run with me. Welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm TD Miller and I like taking my GoPro with me on my runs. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want. Huh? Who's that? It's me, Stefan, Safe Motions. Hi. Stefan, what are you doing here? You're running, right? Are you heel striking? Dude, I can sense right here from Vietnam, something's off. What do you mean? Yeah, I can hear your cadence is irregular, dude. But this is how I run. Also, it's pretty low. I think you should try and increase your running cadence to 180 steps per minute. Hang on. I've just installed an app on your phone. It's a metronome. Set it up to 180 beats per minute, run to that rhythm, let me know how it went. Mm. Okay, I'll try. I gotta go now. I can feel another runner who didn't warm up. Thanks, I guess. Wait, Emma. Okay, enough with the shenanigans. Stefan is absolutely right. I've been running for the past 10 years and I've always had quite a low cadence. I never really focused too much on it because I had the impression I was running and it was fine. But there are so many tips and tricks online saying you're supposed to run at around 180 strides per minute or steps per minute. I've always ignored that, running at around 165. So Stefan is trying to train me to get to 180. Obviously in the trails it's a lot harder. It's getting me to run three times a week, focusing on my cadence. Here's a whole video about it, a 12 week plan, which we're now testing on me, see if it works. So in 10 weeks or so, we're gonna show you the results. It's warmer than I expected. Oh here, come on. I know I've been talking about the weather a lot, but I think that's mainly because I definitely have some form of seasonal affective disorder. And because I work inside all day and the winters can be quite long in Germany. So it already starts almost in October, starts to get dark already quite early and I think stays until like March. April is usually when it starts to get nice again. I really have a hard time staying motivated in general, not just for running, but I definitely don't feel like going out for a run when it's gray outside. So now that the sun is out, the summer is awesome. It's really just a few weeks actually where it's this nice and there's usually quite some rain in between but yeah it's months like this or weeks like this that i really feel like running a lot i just like going outside maybe it's too hot to actually run or to perform well but i just like to be outside and especially now with covid with the second winter coming up i'm curious how long uh, what's going to happen if there's going to be any lockdowns anything else happening where people aren't allowed to meet up and you want to meet up indoors. Last winter was horrible. It was definitely a sad winter for a lot of us, I think. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. Summers are awesome. Running in the sun is awesome. I don't mind running at night, but this is perfect. And nobody around. But that's... I got myself a guilty pleasure yesterday. Absolutely not running related. A friend of mine reminded me of it. I remember playing it when I was a kid on the Nintendo. So I decided to buy it for the PlayStation now. It's a game that I used to love playing. And the funny thing is, or in retrospect funny thing, is that I used to play this a lot, but I didn't have a memory card for my Nintendo. So every time I played it, there was no way of saving the game or saving the progress. So I need to play it and leave the PlayStation on all night so that I wouldn't lose the progress. And of course that worked a couple of times. My mother let me keep it on, but sometimes, yeah, she would want to turn it off because why would you leave PlayStation on all night? I would get so mad because it meant hours of playing. I need to re redo the whole thing again. The first levels I knew off by heart and then the later levels, I don't think I ever got to the last levels and eventually you could choose new characters. So yeah, it's Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. They remade them for the PlayStation and Xbox, I guess. So I needed to get that, played, played it for a few hours yesterday. My wife shook her head, but it's a guilty pleasure. Oh, I can run here again. Oh. 